Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob Ronan here again, and the Entertainment District Trio is out. And before we go online with all the characters, I thought we'd quickly try and learn them together. So we've done Tanjiro and Zenitsu, and now we're gonna try and learn Inosuke. So I've looked at him a little bit, and he seems kind of like Zenitsu, like he is gonna play a very similar playstyle to his original self, just with some slightly different tools to do so. So he kind of has the same... He has the same feel to him, like you just do a bunch of buttons into your plus and block thing and buttons into your thing and you can go into grabs. He's a very quick grab, you just do a bunch of things into a thing, into a thing, into a thing, and then you just go crazy and hope it works. He also has the same kind of um, ability to just rampage and roll himself in, just <laughs> run in from so far away and get some kind of reward from it. He, he's definitely still in Norske, but he also has... Now, maybe some actual proper mix now, where he used to just be able to pray that the opponent kept blocking for ages, that the, their guard would break. Um, now he has some proper mix, so, um... Let's get the opponent to guard. So, how he's gonna be playing, similar to regular Norske and other characters, you know, playing neutral, kind of the normal way, except he just has the added benefit of having this, which is an armored charge-in, which is always handy, because if you're trying to get in on a zona, yeah, you can, like, try and dash in and stuff, but having an armored way to get in, like, you can do this, and yes, it's punishable, but you can bring out your little support to make it plus unblock, and if you manage to get in, you're in, and that's all you need sometimes in order to win a set, especially if it's against a character that really doesn't like to be fighting you. And this version of Inosuke seems like he can be pretty volatile, so being able to get in and keep yourself safe with the support seems like it's going to be an important part of his character. And while the opponent's blocking, I should show that his DP, or his guard special, isn't actually an unblockable, it's... <laughs> I mean, it isn't actually invincible, it is unblockable. So, kind of the opposite of most characters. Most characters use this as their defensive tool, as like, get off me, but this is Inosuke's get on... get on me? Get on you. It's, it's what he uses to get in on the opponent. It's... Interesting. I'm excited to try it out online and see how people deal with it. Like, is it particularly reactable or... I don't know. I don't know. Because it doesn't have kind of the same kind of flash that things like uh, Enmu's or other characters is. But I feel like people will pretty quickly... Or like Hinokami Tanjiro's is pretty obvious as well now. But I feel like after like a day or two of fighting against this character, people can be like, oh, okay, he did a special flash into something... He's gonna go into this unblockable because he kind of just flashes, stands there, and it is kind of slow when you watch the whole thing. Like, it can't combo off of anything, it's so slow. Even this, like, thing that's really plus unblock, it doesn't combo off of. So, um, yeah, I'm intrigued to see how much it actually works on people, but it is. It's always good having a tool that is an actual mix up just to keep the opponent on their toes. And I'm sure there's gonna be ways to, um, make it seem. A little more hidden like maybe if I'm doing some attacks I can just do a sidestep and then they'll see the flash and attack doesn't come out so maybe they might actually like if I do something like this and I sidestep in a way that they can't really see or maybe if I just do something into yeah I'm not sure maybe into a, a jump sidestep or something I don't know it might be kind of really visible because there's nothing else that really looks like it for him we'll find a way we'll find a way I'm sure but uh yeah that's how you know case just gonna be playing the game, I imagine. But, um, <clears throat> when it comes to combos, he's gonna be pretty simple again, just, you know, so now that he has this move, which kind of acts very similarly to his tilt special of his original version, he can just kind of do whatever he wants. Into a few hits, into a special, into a few hits, into a special, and it's gonna do upwards of 3,000 damage, depending on how you link it together. Actually, um, he... <laughs> I kind of like the character. He seems like he is a very... Um, simple, well-rounded character. He has three different special moves that accomplish three different things that you need uh, in your game. You have your standing special, which is just your damage extending, and it's good for just pressing after your buttons because it extends combos, does good damage. Like, it does good damage on its own. It does a nice big chunk all the time. Um, so you just press it when you're hitting the opponent. If the opponent's blocking, it's plus on block. So you just have this button. <laughs> if you're on offense of any sort, whether you're getting a combo or getting a blocks combo, you can just press this button and hey, it's gonna work out. You're gonna get your combos, it'll be fine. You have your 
YOLO, I want to get in and be on top of you move that is armored and just press buttons for armor. We, we, we love that. Press buttons for full screen armor that also starts combos, I should say. And you also have your sneaky unblockable for a little bit of mix ups. So you have your kind of three things that you need. You have offense of any sort. You have you have your up close offense. You have your I want to get in on your offense from afar. And hey, goddammit, open up offense. <laughs> so the three pillars of offense with Inosuke. Taught by Master Inosuke himself. But yeah, when it comes to combos, um, just doing like a hit confirming as soon as you can into this special move is probably going to be your best way to get damage as you can. Just, you know, the less attacks in your combos, the less it's going to scale. So just a few hits into this. And you can even just do like single hits and stuff like this and then go into your resets afterwards, whatever you like, to see how much the opponent actually gets hit by these resets as to how much speed you want to save for resetting the opponent. Because um, if you're not getting reset, well, there's not really any point in saving the meter for it. Um, I do think this seems to scale your combos quite a bit though, so by the end of your combo, if you've used a few of them, your regular attacks end up doing, like, no damage. So I think uh, combo routes that can make it a little less, um, scaling is doing something like this. Oops, no, not that. <laughs> well, that doesn't scale because it resets. But using this special move, and then doing a few hits, or even a full combo string into your standing special, and you can actually dash cancel for free then. And, um... It's a cheap combo, but it, you know, you'll get to do a dash up at the very end and build all your meter back, so it's a practically free combo. And, uh, yeah, if you do a combo, anytime, if your opponent is airborne and you can go into this, you get a free dash up, which is really cool, because you can either get, you know, your air neutral combo for the floor bounce, which either leads to a lot of damage or a lot of meter build if you take the hard knockdown. And, um, honestly, that's kind of it when it comes to Inosuke. You know, as I mentioned, if the opponent's blocking... This is very plus, so you can just go... Oops, not that. That one is very, very minus and you cannot cancel it, so don't do that on accident like I just did, but yeah. You've got a very plus thing here, so you can just do stuff, go in for grabs. He's got a wicked quick grab, just like regular Inosuke. I think it might even be, like, clocked up to be faster. It is ridiculous how quick this thing comes out. It feels like it comes out even before he's finished doing the punch animation. Like, it just hits the opponent so quick. So, that's going to be a pillar of his offense, as well as this unblockable. So he's kind of going to be the king of unblockables, I feel. And, um, yeah, that's it. If the opponent's blocking, you're going to be either plus, you're going to be plus and go for a grab, or you're going to be plus, or just randomly go for an unblockable if you're feeling really, <laughs> really YOLO. And, um, yeah, just like regular Inosuke, you can end your combos in a grab, and I'm going to be honest. I don't think it's possible to avoid that grab. Maybe if they mash an ultimate, that's probably the only way to get out of there. But it, I don't think the opponent can jump or sidestep with that. The tiny ass time that you get to um, escape after your regular special into a grab. Like, it almost seems like it combos. It only barely doesn't. Which is awesome, because then it leads to an unscaled combo ender. So if you, you know, are getting a combo... Whatever it is, if the opponent is grounded, you can just get a grab at the end, and it'll add a nice big chunk to the end of the combo, get an easy, like, 60% like that. Love it. Love to see it. And it just adds to the scariness of your mix-ups, and, you know, your character with mix-ups, having the opponent be scared is very important. And, honestly, I feel like he's going to be a pretty strong mix-up character, because you've got the two things that you need to be strong on offense. He has a super simple plus unblock move, and... Two very good unblockables. What else do you need? And he's able to get in on the opponent pretty easily as long as he has meter with the support. Um, going into boost mode and stuff, um, you know, I imagine he's going to be pretty similar. I don't know how much damage, let's see how much damage his full combo does, whether it's worthwhile. Nah, not too much, but if you know, want to do a cheap combo, I guess you can. And in surge mode, his uh, things do link together kind of well, so I guess you could do stuff like this. And then go for a reset into a grab or something. I'm sure the opponent's already dead. But um, he can link his things together already easily, so I'm sure it'll be just even easier when he's in surge mode. And his ultimate activation is going to be the exact same, which is good because it means it can just easily combo off of anything he does, no matter what your combo ender is. I think even if the opponent is airborne, 
it still disconnects completely seamlessly. Which, oh, okay, maybe not. Be careful if they're airborne, but um, I think most of the time I'm going to have my opponent on the ground ready for some mix-ups, so it'll be an easy combo into an ultimate. Anyways, that seems like it's Inosuke. He's a, a rushdown king with easy plus frames and easy mix-ups. Let's see how we go with him online. See you there. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, we matched against an NA person. <clears throat> See how the connection is. I'm actually really, <laughs> really, really sad. I just recorded this whole, like, half hour of playing with Inosuke. And I realized I wasn't recording. Just checking now. I am recording. Um, but I can tell you, I had a great time. This character is an absolute blast. Even though I wasn't recording, I'm happy to play with him again. It'll be just as fun as the first time, I imagine. Oh, bitch, get off of me. And I can tell you that I did kind of good. I won some of the stuff. And um, if I do end up losing this match, just know that I did I did do very well. And I did do some winning. Um, I need to shut up and not do random ass stuff. <laughs> um, oh, my god. Okay, we're cutting that first match. That didn't happen. I'll edit it out, for sure. But, uh, yeah. Inosuke, it seems like the main thing playing with him is managing your meter so that you have enough meter to do your YOLO plus frames, um, armor frames, unblockables. Because you have a special move that does basically everything you want. So you just want to make sure you have the meter to be as YOLO as you want to be. Hey, you got hit by the reset. Let me build some beta back. Thanks for not breaking my combos. I appreciate that. Oh my god. I thought I would bloody hit Tengen. How did he still stay there for that long? Oh my... What? What is going on? This is not... This is not the game I remember playing. Every time I recover, I usually expect to be able to mash like this. Yeah. And it's just not working. Okay. We got the match. And, like, usually you hit a support if you just keep mashing buttons when they're coming at you, but Tengen, for some reason, he's just like, actually, no, I'm gonna not get hit. Okay, that was kind of an expensive combo. I don't know anything optimal, but I'm just gonna do some random ass stuff and hope it works. Oh, damn, see, like, that's what I expected. Okay, not gonna bother breaking this, not that I can. What am I even talking about? Man, I wish I didn't lose the <laughs> first sets that I played. I was doing so well, now you just have to trust me. I did one two matches though. But uh, yeah, this version of Inosuke is just as fun as the original version, if not even more fun. It feels like he's even just slightly more chaotic because he just has stuff that is like kind of actual genuine mix-ups whereas in the other version oh okay i did not mean to do that twice i don't know what just happened it is definitely reactable mix-ups but the the threat of it being there is um enough to be very powerful okay i did just bring out zenitsu is he gonna get deleted by this animation or is he still gonna come out he got deleted bruh Oh, he still caught me at the very end. At least he's got, like, no meter now to do anything. Okay. So I don't know how I feel about that set. At least... At least the bare minimum, it wasn't a horrifically laggy set like the first one I had. But, um... I don't know, we won, but I didn't really... We didn't really do much. At least we get a rematch with an okay connection. But, uh... There's not really too much to talk about with Inosuke. Like, strategy-wise, like, you kind of just go in, if the opponent's blocking, you B+. Plus. If you want to get in, you can just do your armored charging thing. And if you have a support, you can just bring out a support to either cover you, and if you do hit them, you just get, you know, more damage in your combo. So it kind of just, it all works out. And you can do that kind of 
Easy reset stuff. And he's got an awesome grab, like, I swear, one of the fastest grabs in the game. So he is kind of the king of unblockables. See? Armor. I can just go through anything I want. So as long as I have, as long as I have support meter and I have special meter, I'm a menace. But when I accidentally spend it too recklessly, I'm absolutely gonna die. No! Damn it. Yep. That's actually one of this version of Tanjiro's strengths, it seems. He's good at countering armor attacks because he just goes completely through them. Let me just spend all of my meter. Okay, that was not worth it at all. Oh my god. Wait, Tengen support seems really, really good. Can you dash at me? I kind of want to get my meter back. I'm just going to boost. There we go. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> Pretty linear game plan. It's kind of just... He's, he's an awesome, fun character. You kind of just turn off your brain and do what you want with him. You don't have to do optimal combos. As long as you mix your opponent up, you'll do fine. See? Reset. Reset again with my support. But now that I've lost all my meter, I'm kind of... Need to make sure I, I end it out really quickly or else it goes really badly. I do have an ultimate here now though, so if he does anything committal, I can just... Do that. <laughs> he's such a fun character. I, I definitely would say he's up there with Enmu and Akaza and some other characters for my most favorite characters to play in the game. He is just so crazy, and it doesn't feel like he's like ridiculously overpowered because there are answers to all of the weird gimmicky stuff he does. But he just feels good to play because. He has options for all the things you want to do. Like, hey, you're pressing buttons, you want to be plus? Boom. Neutral special, you're plus. Or like, hey, you want to do an unblockable? Guard special. Or just your throw. They're both good unblockables. Like, there's answers to all of his things. Obviously, you know, you can dodge the throw, or you can interrupt the slow unblockable. Or you can block his armored attack, but like, if you want to have armor to go through a projectile or something, you can. He's got options for everything, but doesn't feel crazy cracked overpowered and I guess we'll see how that ends up being over time. I'll come back to you in a week and see if people think he's actually completely ridiculous and super strong or if he's just you know a mid tier. I think if I was to place him I'd say he's pretty average around the middle B plus A. Um, and as for Entertainment Tanjiro I think Entertainment Tanjiro is a little bit lackluster actually. I think he's a little bit down low bottom Bottom four, bottom five-ish. But, you know, it is very early. And Tanjiro and Zenitsu Entertainment version, I would say, is probably similar to regular Zenitsu. Like, top five or whatever. Because he just plays the game in a very similar way to regular Zenitsu, just with some slightly different moves. Ooh, okay. Okay, do they get hit by this stuff? Hell yeah, they do. That's what we like to see. I'm going to the air, get a hard knockdown, and then get some of this <laughs> meter back that I spent ridiculously. And then armor through, and then Bob's your uncle, they're gonna break the combo, but I get to chase down, I chase too late. But I'm gonna armor through, I'm not gonna armor through because it comes out too late. That is one thing that I've noticed, the armor does actually take a surprisingly long time to come out. You can't really use it as a reversal and like, Oh, does that punish my jump? Why couldn't I block there? Um, because there is a chance you'll be interrupted before the armor actually comes out. So you gotta make sure you kind of use it as more of a neutral tool when you know you have a few frames where you're not gonna get hit before the armor comes out. Nice, I suppose. I should just block a little bit more and then he's gonna hit me with a fire wheel. And that's actually punishable. Oh, okay. Oh no, I did a pushback. Yeah, doing a pushback against Firewheel is not worth it because it makes it not punishable.
Okay, he he likes doing his fire wheel a little bit too much for someone who doesn't have. <laughs> also, being able to do such easy combos, we just do buttons into a special, into buttons into a special, is very Hinokami Chronicles. But hey, it's fun. I get to focus on doing stupid stuff. Okay. At least he doesn't get too much from his DP. It's not like Zenitsu gets a full damn combo. Oh, damn it. Okay. He is walking a lot. Um, up in the middle of my combos, so that probably means I'm not going to be able to go for many unblockables. But that does mean I'm going to be able to reset just into my non-unblockable resets, which honestly are more rewarding, so I'll take it. Ooh! Yeah, Entertainment Tanjiro's um, DP does actually recover surprisingly quickly. You have to make sure you do your step forward punch, or else you might whiff, and then you get away safely. How are we gonna get in? You know how we're gonna get in. I'm gonna- Oh! Damn it, he went in first! I should have. <laughs> oh, okay. Push back into grab. We're back to the classic days of that, I suppose. Damn. That teleport's behind me as well. I don't know why I keep saying, I'll deal with it next time. No, come on. I saw that grab a mile away. Calm down. You gonna walk? Nah, nah, nah. No walking. You gotta block sometimes. You can't always just hold sidestep or hold punch. Blocking sometimes is helpful. Oh, yeah. Look at him flexing with his little mousy rat boys on his shoulder. So cool. Do we get a rematch though? I'm gonna guess no. Putting two dollars on it. Oh! Never mind, there goes my two dollars. That's why I don't gamble. Right. In order... In the... <laughs> oh my goodness. In the spirit of improving, I'm gonna make my goal for this round just to be... to punish a bunch more of his... fire wheel, whatever that's called. since he likes doing it. And it's very punishable, and I shouldn't be getting hit by it as much as I am. Come on, would I get hard knocked down? Oh, yeah. Oh! I thought I was going for an armed attack there. Let's see what combos. Yeah, they don't really have combos, so I may as well not waste my um, support on breaking it. And then reset again. Oh, he blocked this time. But hey, I'm still plus. <laughs> Even though I'm going for resets, I'm still plus. Don't think you have something you can do about it. You could mash ultimate. I swear, if someone mashes ultimate on me when I'm trying to do my resets, I would actually cry. Oh no! Damn, I did too many hits. Hey, now he's blocking, finally. Hey, oh, 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 oh. God damn it! Inosuke is so fun to play, because he's you can just half turn your brain off, and it'll all be fine. I like to do a slice and dice kind of- or maybe that's a bad idea. I feel like the slice and dice might actually kind of scale the combos a little more than I would like it to. Jesus Christ. Oh, he doesn't get a combo for that like regular Zenitsu. Nice.
Oh, that was meant to be a dash him. What is this? So satisfying. So satisfying. What a fun character. I don't even really need to, like, express myself or tell you what I'm doing. It's pretty obvious. There's no... I don't have a game plan. I don't have any... Anything I'm trying to aim for. It's just in the moment, like, hmm, do I feel like pressing a button and getting some armor? Hmm, okay. Hmm, do I feel like going for an unblockable? Hmm, okay. Is the opponent unblocking? Do I feel like being plus or going for unblockable? Uh, I don't know. I'll just decide and it'll be fine either way. <laughs> Look how quickly I break guard as well. Oh, yes, and he's airborne, so I get some cool free combos. Oh, okay, maybe not. Oh, he couldn't walk that way. Ah, damn it, what a waste of meter. I am gonna wake up and mash. What are you gonna do about it? That's the question now. And you know how I'm gonna round start? With armor, of course. Oh, ho, ho, ho. so fun. No! We missed! Not anymore. Damn. We got resets. We got combos. We got resets that are unblockable. We got resets that catch non-blockers. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> Here we go again. And you know what? Before you even get the chance to break away, I'm gonna go for a lovely explosive cinematic. I'm getting it done this time. <laughs> I'm getting it done this time. Just like the video that I forgot to record last time. Look at the little, little mice on his shoulders. Oh. And we got... Oh. I'm flattered. I'm blushing. Let's see if we find a new opponent. Let's see if I can find a new opponent so quickly that I don't even have to edit it out. Because you know I love not editing things. <laughs> That's actually something that I'm enjoying when these DLC characters come out. Is the massive influx of people playing the game. You don't have to wait like at all to find a connection. Look at that. That was seconds. That was lickety split. I don't... I don't know if it's they've maybe like had an update to change the online matchmaking system or it is just purely more people play the game when DLC comes out. But I feel like the game is doing really, really well at matching people together. Maybe not the matches all have the best connection, but um, at least it's finding us matches. I'd rather that over finding no matches at all. That was definitely not a worthwhile spell. Ooh, nice. God, I love how stupid sports are in this game. I'm just kidding, I really don't. I feel so guilty every time I win like that. It's just an easy win. I was standing on the other side of the screen. I just happened to press the support gauge and he happened to hit the opponent and you know, I'll take the win. Okay, this time I'm actually just gonna build some meter back. Oh, ho, ho, unblockables! You have to make sure you keep your eyes peeled for it. It's gonna get you. Oh, that was awkward.
Ah, no, my meter. What? What? Why could I not block after my running? It's okay. We'll make it seem like they have a chance. <laughs> Come on. There's no chance against the king of YOLO. <laughs> Come on! Don't you love how stupid this is? I don't have to do anything that's well thought out or well executed. I can press random ass buttons and it's gonna work. It's gonna make my opponent terrified that I am being an absolute button masher. And I love that. I love people being terrified of me being a scrub. What was that? Excuse me. Oh, okay. 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 Interesting. That's actually not too bad damage for three bars. Owie. Thanks for not comboing off of that. Oh! Counted both of us. Okay, nice. Could have had a cooler combo though, if I'm being honest. And armor. And no matter what happens, we'll always come out on top. Oh yeah, that's some juicy damage and a hard knockdown. Ooh, okay. We can't really go for armor anymore. Oh, damn, I was still recovering? Crazy, I should have sidestepped. I thought I would have been able to block though. <laughs> I, I'm gonna be honest, I forgot that that is not a DP, and that is in fact just an unblockable. That was a very unoptimal combo, but I suppose it looked cool. Oh my god, I love how stupid supports are. I'm just kidding, no I don't, but maybe I do. Look at that. I just got all that because I happened to press the support when I was doing an attack before and it just happened to interrupt him. And then see, same thing's gonna happen again, or it could have happened. They're so overpowered and I, I, I don't understand. And it only take like one little nerf to make them like a decent bit weaker. If they just couldn't kill you, they would actually be kind of acceptable. But the fact that they can kill you is just... Too far away! Oopsie doops. Okay, okay. Oh, less okay. More like what? Oh no, need to get out of here. Can't beat a good old full screen dash in. Getting a little bit overzealous there. Oh, I should not have mashed. Okay. Oh. That was a lot of meter for a dropped combo. Oh, that was meant to be an armor attack. Thanks, Enitsu. Thanks for being broken. I appreciate it. Oh! The waterfall! I got... I got... Fell in by the water. Okay, okay, calm down there.
Sorry. But not today. Damn it, too many hits. Oh, I love a lightning fast grab. I think this might be one of the only characters in the game that has true 50-50s, like consistently, off of any hit. He can just easily go, boom, am I gonna go neutral special into neutral special, or am I gonna go neutral special into grab, or neutral special into unblockable? It's pretty unreactable, I would say. Let me just dash in. Okay, let me just lose neutral instantly. Armor! Ahaha! Oop! He woke up mashing. I'll remember that. Ooh! Nice! Okay, and then we're in the air, so you can do this. Do, 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 and then into unblockable. Hey, hey, into unblockable. Then mash some more buttons, and we got it. Let's do some backflips to show, show the mood of what's going on. Damn, I couldn't sidestep out of time. In time. Out of the way, in time. You know. Okay, okay. You're trying to play mind games? It's not gonna work. Because if I'm not using my brain in the first place, there's nothing to play with. Damn it. Ah. I didn't mean to do so many hits. See, mind games only work on those using their mind. <clears throat> uh, oh, damn it! It didn't have enough meters to go for my reset. See, no mind. But it also means they're immune to his mind tricks, so it's worth it. Oh, ma'am. Damn, she leads to a hard knockdown. Okay, no thanks. No stress. The thing is also, when you don't play with a mind, you don't worry about having low health. Everything's possible when you don't use a brain. Oh, that doesn't have the best range in the world, does it? Oh, damn it, okay. That reset only works on a grounded opponent. Just wanted to test, you know. Gotta make sure we're being experimental. That's embarrassing. That's unfortunate. Let's see if this reset works on him now. Oh, okay, mashing boost. That's a good, good option. Okay, you're really trying to go all out now, aren't you? Soz. Oh, Soz, he said Soz back. That really hit me? Are you kidding? And I died from it. Okay. <laughs> For that, you've earned yourself a flashy finish. Oh. <coughs> Sorry, bud. And then into the air. Oh no, I didn't go into the air. I tried to sidestep out of the way. I thought it would have happened even before the ultimate came out. 
There is some weird button input eating thing that happens when people go for ultimates. <clears throat> oh, tried to dodge. Oh, hi. Sorry. Oh, I forgot to go for my flashy finish. Lily, silly me. Do we get another match or is are we moving on? Next opponent. I think we'll find one more opponent. You know, Skaze, on a winning spree, we've got to find a match that's a little bit more up to his standards. Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Surely it's quick. Still quick. Oh, I love it. So quick. And this looks like it might be a bit more of a tricky match. <clears throat> Hmm. I don't know why. It keeps resetting me to zero matches one every time I come back once a month. And it still matches me against people that have, like, literally a thousand wins. I fought against someone before. Like, what kind of matchmaking system puts someone with five <laughs> counted wins against a thousand? Seems weird. I mean, I'm not complaining, but I imagine some people would not be too appreciative of that. Hey. Oh, damn it! I saw it happening, but there's a little bit too much delay for me to do anything about it. Okay. I know you're doing stuff. I know you can do stuff, and I'm scared. Oh! You can dash up after that. That's good to know. Oh! <gasps> he hit both of us? That is rude. Damn. Zenitsu. I thought you were on my side. Damn, that's cool he can dash up like that. That leads to some cool combos that I have not been doing. I don't know what he's doing. Is he gonna block? Oh damn, he is blocking. No, get out! Ah, oh, and he went- damn, that reaches farther than I thought it would. Okay, he actually surprisingly was blocking. I thought he would have been looking for the unblockable since he's, you know, knows how to play this character. What on earth? No, it didn't break his guard. I thought I held it down the whole way. and still get a hard knockdown. Ooh, that's nice. Thanks for showing me that extension. I appreciate it. And I tried to go for an armor attack again, but he caught me like a sneaky... Okay, I can't really do things based on visually assessing them and timing them in this connection. It's just uh, not as good as some of the other connections we've had. But I cannot do stuff like that. Block. Uh, hello. Right, I swear I was holding block early enough for that. It needs to be five, ten seconds early instead of five seconds early. It's okay, we can make the comeback. Oh, he's still attacking me. Sneaky. Oof. It's, uh, it's not looking very bright anymore. Oh no! Damn, that's. Oh, okay. Damn, 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 damn. Alright. Alright, alright, Lou Elgo. I see you winning in this laggy connection. I'm absolutely gonna blame it on the lag for the first match, but, um, if you give me a rematch and I win, that's a skill difference. Oh, yeah, I don't think I've seen that ultimate before. That's actually pretty damn cool. Zenitsu always gets the cool animations. Uh, 
Oh damn. See, finding us connections and like matches in like literally under 10 seconds. It's lightning quick, snappy quick. Maybe they made an update to make it better. Maybe it's just a big group of people because of the DLC. Who knows? But I, I'm liking it. I would like it also if the online connection was consistently good, but at least we find matches. That's, that's, that's the bare minimum we can ask for. Some games, you know, still can't deliver that. <laughs> KOF. Don't, I don't really know what the, what the game plan is there. Does he expect me to mash after he's done his run-in? He's done that twice now. Damn, that is crazy damage, and I still get a hard knockdown. I am so glad that other Inosuke player showed me this. That is a juicy extension. Damn, that's like the first time I've seen Rengoku miss. I suppose it's just luck that I won that match. I, I don't really know what happened. Don't know why I missed that. That ultimate missed me, but um, I'll take it. I think I will actually say next opponent, just because I feel like it's a little bit of a unmatched matchup there, uneven matchup. We'll find one more opponent, surely. Oh, so quickly. The, 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 um, GUI didn't even load yet. Wait, this isn't the same person, right? I don't even remember what they're... Oh no, different characters at least. Okay, come on Tanjiro, let's have a badass last set. And you know exactly how I'm about to start this game. Armor! Damn it. I shouldn't get hit right after I use my support. Is he mashing? No, he is blocking. Oh, he's blocking too much. And slash. Lice and dice. So satisfying, having a big chunk of damage that you can just throw anywhere you want. It's also plus and block and continues combos. Ooh, caught me. Armor again. Oh, yeah, see, the armor does take a decent amount of time to come out. Are you still blocking? Oh, you're still blocking. You're still blocking. <laughs> Sorry about that, but the resets... Resets speak for themselves. Let me do some backflips. Set the tone. Ooh, Inosuke versus Entertainment Inosuke. One of them's been training, the other one hasn't. Ooh! Wait, that grab hit. It looks like it really didn't. 
Ooh. Damn, went through my armor somehow. Oh, nice. I was totally mashing there. Okay. Okay, okay. Calm down there, Inosuke. Damn. That's a lot of meter. <laughs> Don't know if it's worth it, but I... Oh, an armor through the boost on Wake Up. Hell yeah. I don't know, I don't know, forget your rematch on this one. How much are you gonna bet on this one? Two dollars? Yeah, hand it over. Hand over the two bucks. I think... Nah, I'm having fun. I'm gonna do another set. That's right, just for you, Inosuke. Just for you. <laughs> okay, this is a different person again, but they also just have characters that my white-ass computer isn't even going to bother trying to read. Oh, we've got Entertainment Zanetsu. Yeah, fighting against Entertainment Zanetsu just feels basically the exact same as regular Zanetsu. Like, yeah, he has some slightly different things, and his attacks have slightly different properties, but... He's basically the exact same game plan. Is he blocking? Oh, okay, no. He knows it. He knows it. He knows it. But that's good to keep in mind. Or that's good to know. Because there are definitely resets we have for that. I'm kind of out of everything, though. Slice and dice does so much damage. It's amazing. Do some backflips. Boop, 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 boop. Hey there. <laughs> you ready? Can't always expect I'm gonna do an unblockable, because I'll do this. And you'll die. Oh, I missed. You should have died. Oh no! Now I'm dying. Okay, what's the combo? Okay, interesting. Oh, ooh, interesting. I'm not sure about that ender. Keep myself safe. Thank you, Zenitsu. And that guard's gonna break. Thank you. I'm gonna push back and press some buttons. Thank you very much. I'll take the win. Me and my mice friends are gonna walk over here. Oh, the mice aren't actually on his shoulders when he's fighting. I just realized I wasn't even paying attention to that until just then. That's so sad. Surely they could just edit them on as like still figures. Oh, yes. Oh. And armor, charge in. Sorry, buddy, but you gotta block sometimes. Ooh, didn't even have to go for an ultimate, because we... We have resets galore. We have resets we can pull out of our ass at any time, and they're gonna work. Because that's just who's there. <laughs> that's just who Inosuke is. Turn your brain off and pull it out of your ass. And it'll work. Unavailable free match. Okay. Uh, should I do one more? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna do one more. We find them so quickly. It's not like I'm even gonna be waiting. One, three, two, one, boom. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Ah, so good. So good. I love that. Oh. This might be rough. This might be battle to the death. We're against someone in Europe. Or their account says they're in Europe. Which is um kind of the opposite side of the world. 
to where I am right now. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna start with the armor either way. Oh, wait, the connection actually doesn't feel too bad. What, how did that combo not work? Okay, is he mashing? He's mashing. Hell yeah, we take these. And before he can even break out of the combo, he is gone. That was like nearly under 10 seconds. You gonna come after me? Boom, I'm gonna come after you. Oh, you're just kidding. Oh. Oh, okay, he's still mashing, which is questionable because that's the whole reason he lost that previous round. Mm, definitely not close enough for that. Ooh! Ready? We're gonna reset the same way. See if he's still mashing. Sorry, but- Oh! Nice job calling out Nezuko, though. That, that will definitely work. You're gonna have to hold back on the mashing a little bit. Really? I tried to jump sidestep and Nezuko still hit me. Nezuko and Rengoku as supports actually make me sad. Hell yeah, I'm a dive kick. Oh my god, you're still mashing? My man. My man. You trying to die? Armor into, Nez into Zenitsu, into this, and then put- oh, that's so much damage for doing an armor charge in with the support. Oh my goodness. And what can you do about that? You're charging with armor, you've got a block, but then the support makes a plus, and then you've lost like most of your guard, damn it, like, oh, it's too good, and yeah, okay. I don't think we're gonna get any more full sets that everyone's kind of leaving. Inosuke is just too scary for them. Anyways. Thank you so much for watching, um, Inosuke is so fun, I highly recommend playing him if you're still deciding which of the three characters you want to play, Inosuke is amazing. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!